What is up, everybody? Welcome back. It's generic YouTube introduction over here to tell you that's right. There's more gaming content. It's time for another episode of coffee and co-op. That's right. Oh, look at that. Did you notice how all three of them are in there? Uh, and you thought I, you thought that I didn't use the word and because I wanted to have shorter titles. <laughs> Oh, God. I'm trying to get myself amped up today. Uh, we've got our Zagara at level 7, so we can finally take advantage of the extra free Banelings and the Zergling upgrades. Those are all fantastic, phenomenal, great, phantasmagoric things. We unlocked both of these at the end of the last mission. Hi, Katie. Hi, Tonstor. Should get a lawyer to avoid the bath. Yeah, I'm going to drag Lou into the bathtub when he comes to annoy me today. I'm giving him a bath. Um, I'm very excited about that. I'm going to have the dog shampoo ready. And, um, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be good times. It's going to be good times. He's going to be very wet. Um, I woke up this morning, and, uh, you know, he's got some separation anxiety because the girlfriend's out of town, so he misses her a lot. He's been a little bit emo. Um, he made a big mess for me this morning. It took me about an hour and a half to clean up everything because our heavy-duty uh, portable vacuum cleaner thing that we use to get dog pee or poop or whatever out of the carpet... Um, Whenever something, when he has incidents, when he, you know, he gets really stressed. He's a dog, you know, and his, he's had me and Katie around literally his whole life because of quarantine. So he gets very, very, very stressed out when one of us isn't home for more than a day. And, um, yeah, so that was my morning. Then I went and grabbed my coffee and then I sat down on my computer and said, you know what? I'll start my stream just a little smidge early instead of waiting for 1030. We've started at 920. Um, so with that being said, let's queue up into our co-op game. Let's get it going. Let's get it done. Hello, Lord Helix. Good to see you, buddy. Praise Helix. Um, I went over to my favorite local coffee shop. I went to Cuppa LV. Got myself a cold brew. It's good times. So I got my coffee. I got my big, my big, 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 big thing of water. And I've got a Minx because a teammate. Ah, beautiful. Not enough minerals. Your lab minerals puppy would take shorts and pants and steal and eat the waist string. This puppy has eaten everything. Thank you for responding All right. to our call. He's it eaten seems Amon everything. Is using to transport his I haven't, we haven't been able to use the fancy, able to the fancy conduits, base that we have for our mattress. Nathan splurged so on a mattress at the plant. end of last year because he didn't realize he was going to lose his job. And, uh, <laughs> The damn, is damn cute little puppy is like, oh, there's a bunch of cables under the mat, under the bed. If I could just barely squeeze in here, I might be able to eat those and eat them. He did. So he's a little monster. So I'm waiting. We're waiting for him to get a little bit more mature. We're waiting for uh, dog and puppy classes to open up again so we can take him uh, to something like that. That is definitely what he needs. And then hopefully, hopefully... Once he starts to behave a little better, we can get that fixed. I don't see a reason to get it fixed now, considering that he's just going to eat it again. Little monster. Not enough minerals. Did you guys know if you use Warzone and you get put versus uh, Battlecruiser mech, you can actually mind control a BC? Oh, no, 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 no. It was with Stukov because you lose control of Stukov mind controlled units. You, I used there used to be a little exploit. You could, um, you could use Stukov's Alexander to mind control enemy battlecruisers, teleport them to the research vessels, and they would straight up kill them before they left. And uh, it doesn't really do anything, but I just figured maybe some of you guys wanted to know that. I don't know why. I felt inspired to tell you that for some, for some reason. It just came from the heart. Came from the heart. People of the Dominion, rise up and defend ourselves. You can also teleport them to your ally to troll them. Yeah, that's 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 a little. <laughs> of course, the big co-op guy in the chat, CTG, my man, probably the most knowledgeable person about co-op, other than myself, Kappa. Uh, advocating some griefing, I see today. It's all playful dance. That's what you do when you've already won the game. When you've already won the game, your lone wolf Tychus teammate is one-shotting everything. Then you teleport a battlecruiser into his Tychus for the lulz. Oh my god. So he's got lings that have won one. And I'm supposed to just beat them with lings that don't have any upgrades. Thanks, Obama. 
Not having upgrades sucks. In the words of Bill Nye, upgrades rule. All right, let's just let's just go for the everything. I'm glad I can get my free banelings. That's that's really gonna help. All right, he already cleared that. Kind of low on the minerals there, huh? Let's get another. Uh, let's get another queen. All right, so I've got enough drones on this base, and I already started most of the production that I need. I don't really need to build my, like too much more infrastructure over here, so I think that's okay. So this should spawn four. This should spawn like eight banelings, right? Should spawn eight banelings now every time. With the with the um the prestige, as you guys notice, we get 150 supply max. Oh my god, eight banes! That's wild. So it's you get eight banelings, but also um you get it's eight banes and you get eight scourge I think that come out, or it's maybe four scourge, and you don't get Zagara. So those that's basically the prestige uh, prestige thing that we're doing. Um, if you're not sure what prestige in StarCraft is, um, I recommend look up prestige worldwide. They're one of my favorite groups. Uh, you may remember them from their classic hits such as boats and hose and the, uh, goddamn Catalina wine mixer. Excuse me, the f***ing Catalina wine mixer. Fantastic group. Seriously would recommend seeing them live. They are awesome. Dude, I am actually just crapping out banelings. Not I'm, I've actually got so many banelings. I'm cracked, dog. Evolution, Evolution complete. Your swarm's totally jacked. Headed for the central conduit. Bailing that seems broken enough to appear in multiplayer. <laughs> if Blizzard ever finds a way to balance the baneling in 1v1, the first thing that they'll do is when a Zerg loses a tournament is immediately give them a baneling nest that just spawns banelings. It sounds like the kind of thing they would do. Like, guys, look, we know Zerg dominated for about the last, you know, four or five years of this game, but let's be honest, uh, we just, we just not really there. What prestige is your ally using? Oh yeah, what, what is this? So he has principal proletariat. Royal guard Vespine gas costs reduced by 25% and XP gain doubled. Royal guard mineral cost increased and supply increased. Okay, so basically he gets really good royal guard units, but they cost more. Well, I don't have splitterlings, but this will do. Caldir's Zelnaga shrines may contain invaluable knowledge. My team is setting out to scan them, but they will require protection. My team is getting setting out to scan them, but they will require protection. This one count. Even this Cartwright guy knows you should use protection, ladies and gentlemen. Efforts, a few shuttles have escaped. We cannot allow others to pass. We cannot allow others to pass. Is this co-op, man? Yeah, we're doing some coffee and co-op. Just a little co-op to start your day. Give yourself a little something something. I did forget to upload yesterday's coffee and co-op again, but I did remember to upload it earlier today, so it is already live, or it's going to be live at 10 a.m., excuse me. So that's how you know what time it is for Nathan. It's going to be live in 30 minutes. And then everybody that watches this video is going to be like, Nathan, why do you reference things that are impossible for people who watch on YouTube to follow because they already happened? And I say to those people, I'm sorry. I'm not really that good at this. I'm trying. Co-op does indeed start my day. It's also like most of your day. Oh my God. I don't think I need this many overlords. Let's get rid of like, yeah, let's get, let's cancel some of those. I mean, Zagara's Banes aren't like overpowered yet, which is the problem, right? I need the overpowered Zagara Banes. I need the Splitterlings. Once you get Splitterlings, then Zagara becomes an unholy monstrosity. I mean, I'm kind of already an unholy monstrosity, if we're being honest, but yeah. Dear God. Dear God. The transport has been destroyed. The transport. Dear God, man. Also, shout out to Katie. Katie was in the chat. Katie was saying hi, even though she's in Washington. Katie is the best. All right, all right. Your Zerg have finished evolving. Your Zerg have finished evolving. 
My scourge nest isn't done. I'm sorry, Sean. I just lost a pretty tremendous amount of supply. We have done well, my children. My children. I ain't your child. I ain't your child, Zagara. All right. Since you're such a fan of murder. Uh, don't send all the scourge because he has scourge. Yeah, so you gotta be go to be quick. You gotta know when to hold him. Know when to fold him. We're good. There is no god, only Zerg. Damn. Not enough larva. Problem solved. Bailing spawn for free. They fear us. They fear us. Well, I think this is the part where I just build units and then we win, right? Why do I feel like I have more minerals this game? I don't know. You know what I noticed? These guys never put an Imperial Witness over your teammates' mineral lines. I do it for every single one of my teammates, just to be clear. So he's playing with the upgraded Vikings. That's like his build. I'd just like to point out that my teammate has not given me an Imperial Witness to make my workers mine faster. I am triggered. I will be calling the manager. The shuttles are no more. I am ready to become the next top uh, person on Karen's Gone Wild. I mean, I, my haircut is unfortunately a little too fresh, a little too clean, a little too crisp. I might not get permitted to be on Karen's Gone Wild because I don't meet, meet the physical description, but I will do my best to fix that if I can. Obviously, I cannot promise anything. There is no benefit to having an Imperial Witness over your ally's mineral line. Research vessel ready. The increase in movement speed is not actually enough to actually increase the harvesting rate. I mean, while I understand that the returns may be minimal, I think since your income is always limited to a fixed amount based on the number of bases, I would still wager that having the extra speed is worth it regardless. Even if the only thing it does is make defending at home easier or make units that you build come out to the battlefield faster. I still think that there's value in having it over your teammates' production. I understand with the acceleration and deceleration, but even if it's only a 5% income increase, I think that's worth it personally. Your objective is to stop both waves of shuttles from escaping. You're at maximum supply. Finally free of those blocks. I know if you're like min maxing, you're like, maybe the supply isn't worth it. Oh my God. Are these all the free banelings I have? There's literally zero income increase. Really? I did not realize you that someone went this deep on it, huh? That's interesting. Is it possible that you could mine gas with two workers using it? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I want to believe. Don't ruin my hopes and dreams like that. Look how many banelings I have. Guys, I'm Cyril. Did my... Okay. My game just did a little mini herp derp. Okay. It didn't happen on the stream, but my game screen blacked out for a second. I'm like, is my graphics card derping? What's going on here? The price of failure! You're maxed out. Oh, I see. I'm building up a ton of baneling charges. And then as I use my baneling charges, you gotta know when to hold them. Not fast enough for two workers for gas, but Simmons Blue Zone with Stet's own buff mastery can actually do it at two per patch, but only for his own. The allies workers don't get the full benefit. Interesting. 
You cannot. Well, I'll probably still do it for the rest of my life out of out of uh, solidarity to my teammates to make them feel like I care about them, so that I can build our chemistry and we can win better. Kappa, With the black screen fashion. You have the DirectX driver fill. Yeah, I've had that happen a few times. Since I redid a bunch of my stuff, it's been uh, a lot less common, but it did actually happen to me when I was streaming Fall Guys yesterday. My display driver crashed, and I don't even have any overclocking software running anymore. I don't run Afterburner anymore. I'm not running Precision X anymore. I turned all of it off. So I'm just like, the fact that I still have any derping makes me nervous. Then again, I'm going to get 3080 Ti in hopefully a month, so that will probably help. You know what, guys? Sometimes you just got to fucking send it. Sometimes you just gotta send it. Oh, the fungal on the beans! Okay, well, that fungal growth on my banelings made me sad. Scourge are OP. The fact that I get so many Scourge and Lings is just wild. Yeah, once the game started giving me a thousand banelings for free every minute, that's when I realized this mastery was actually, this prestige was actually really good. Look at me, I can put my lings in two places at once. I'm ready to win a code S. <laughs> You're at maximum supply. Finally free of the... Energy's too low to do that. We're detecting your main objective. A wave of shuttles inbound on an active conduit. None escape the swarm's grasp. None Can escape the swarm's grasp. Not enough energy. Ah, that your sounds pretty aggressive, Zagara. I think you're gonna probably end up in prison for life with that attitude. Another Zerg gem like that and I'm subbing. Well, if I was actually a Zerg player, I wouldn't need your sub money. <laughs> Got him. No! I'm coming out. Bow, bow. I want the world to know. Gonna protect this vessel. I'm coming out. There we go. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's an enemy. The enemy's taking fire any more units. You're maxed out. All right, he's got the fungal. Fungaru. Oh! Oh! Look at this guy's cranked out Vikings, by the way, from his perks. He's got mega Vikings. As expected. Our scans are finished. Science owes you a great debt, Commanders. Hell yeah, look at that. Mix is giving me credit. Look at that. Genocidal maniac telling me he thinks I'm cool. Oh my god, I forgot my Scourge Nest spawns free shit too. It's getting, it's, now the game is playing itself. It really is almost like 1v1 Zerg. Poggers in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. Can I get a Poggers? One puggers, eh? Hey, one puggers, we gotta go for one puggers, and we gotta get, gonna get it. Two puggers. All right. Well, I think I'm uh, pretty sure it's impossible for us to lose this now. Allies are in combat. Amon has activated all three warp conduits. Hurry, commanders. We must stop the shuttles. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Deleted. All right, all right, all right. We got it. We got somewhere else to go. Sorry, sorry. Can't stay. Can't stay. Sorry. Terribly busy. Terribly busy. You think that's Save enough to yourself. stop me? You think that's gonna stop me? You don't have enough. Your allies' base is under attack. Your allies' base is under siege. The enemy's taking fire at your forces. Okay, one hybrid survived. Okay, I think I did a pretty good job. All right, Twitch chat. I don't need to hear it from you. Your allies' base is under attack. Your allies are in combat. Did I ever build another hatch? Oh, I never hotkeyed that hatchery. Okay, that explains why I wasn't getting the larva that I thought I was supposed to be getting. Fire all of the missiles! Woo! 
When the frame rates go down, the enemies follow soon after. <laughs> GG, baby. Yeah. All right, let's see if we unlocked anything big there. Ah, life is good. That was a good, that was a good co-op mission right there. I tell you what, I had a lot of fun on that one. When you get high level Zagara, co-op becomes trivial unless you're playing like one of those weird mutators where like the enemies blow up on contact. Obviously then Zagara is pretty terrible because she's all melee, but if you're not dealing with that, you're good. I already filled my war chest, okay? What did I unlock? Aberration spawn, Banes and Corruptors spawn, Scourge. I guess that's a better way to leverage the supply they give you, right? Because now instead of making 100, you know, 200 lings, you can make 200 lings and like, you know, 15 aberrations. And then your, aber then your lings are impossible to kill, right? But then you don't have all the upgrades for them yet, right? Because I think that's the next one. The Zagara AOE and aberrations give the damage reduction. That's what I want. That'll be the, that'll be the next big one to get. The dark in the skies doesn't affect me. I don't use that. The Baneling Nest Cache is going to be the big one. That's that's also... I, mean, I can't wait for that one. I can't wait. More so almost instantly Swarmlings. Yeah, maxed out Zagara with this will be able to produce the most stupid number of units ever with this prestige. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Coffee and Co-op, ladies and gentlemen. You can always catch the stream live at twitch.tv slash Nathanius. We're broadcast every day during the week. And we're going to be kicking off a bunch of Madden content, uh, I believe, starting Thursday, apparently, is when it's supposed to unlock. They said Friday, but Origin tells me it's going to be open tomorrow at 8, and I'm kind of excited for that. But I'll see you guys for the next episode. Cheers!